This is possible mathematically because the universe is a continuum based on a continuous process of energy exchange. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, forming the geometry that forms a potential for this mathematical paradox. The emergence of spherical symmetry gives us the potential to form greater symmetry formation, and this can be in the form of ever more abstract mathematics. It is because space and time are emergent, continuously coming into existence, that a number can always be halved and halved again to form ever smaller numbers or fractions. Relative to these fractions, we see Ford circles. No one places these circles in the maths. The circles are already there, representing a two-dimensional aspect to three-dimensional spherical geometry. Mathematics is based on the dynamic geometry of the universe. For this to be true, all we would need is spherical geometry to arise naturally within the universe. In these images from the International Space Station, we can see that a candle flame in zero gravity will naturally form a sphere that is interacting with its environment relative to its surface. This geometry forms the inverse square law that electromagnetic fields and gravitational fields are based upon. What do you think about these ideas? Are they going in the right direction or are they fundamentally wrong? Place your ideas below and sub and share and like. Bye for now.